Okay, the YouTube is a Tempest again. Um, so this is box one of my uh, set 13 opening I'm gonna do right now. Um, yeah, I was gonna do it on this Chaos Breaker mat. It's really slippery, so if it moves around a lot, um, sorry about that. Um, so I got four boxes. Uh, supposedly the odds of pulling an SP are uh, one in uh, four boxes. So uh, yeah. Um. So each box is going to come with one of these uh, promo cards uh, for Link Joker. This is actually one of the better ones. This is uh, Niobium. So he's a grade 2 with 9k uh, power. Um, and uh, he gains 2,000 power for each of your opponent's locked units during... Uh, well, no, I guess what he does is when an opponent's card becomes locked, he gains 2,000 power on the turn. And I don't know if you can see this. I want to show you guys. Because... Uh, that is pretty freaking sweet. Because technically these are uh, promo cards, but uh, actually they're textured really well. Yeah, you can definitely see that. So that's really hot, I think. Um, uh, I have a couple people in mind that might want this, um, but it's definitely going to be up for sale or trade. Oops. So I'm going to go ahead and set that uh, over here, I guess, is in camera range. Um, and then, uh, yeah, each pack has 30. Each box has a 30 pack in it, so we're gonna open all these. Um, I basically wanted to get four boxes because I wanted to build. Uh, I knew Tetra Drive and, and uh, Chaos Break would be money cards, and those are the only cards that I didn't need. Um, and I'm building Dimensional Robos, and I'm building um, Grand Blue, and I'm building Nubatama. So I figured, you know, pull everything out of this set. Um, okay, so it looks like each pack is going to have one of these silly promo things in it. That's going to be really annoying to deal with, um, but uh, I'll just set those, try and set those aside. Um, Alright, so for our first pack, we have, uh, let's see, we have Stealth Dragon. This is the bad one for Nubatama, kind of less one game thousand. Uh, Shock Monster, Whipple, Black Ring, Chain, Pleiades, Dive. Mention Robo, Go Rescue, and Bubble Edge Draco Kid. Uh, these are pulls up here. I'll put the rares over here. And a couple commons in the middle. Uh, I don't really want to go over the commons in the set because I don't want the video to run too long. So I'll just put the uh, rares aside. Uh, this pack we have a rare Dimension Robo Die Hearts. That's pretty nice. Uh, I don't particularly like that card, but it's. Uh, not bad. I'll go over the uh, if we get anything like uh, significant. I guess I'll go over it. Um, let me try and pull this closer so you guys can actually see what I'm pulling. All right. So yeah, this is Battle Battle Siren Callista um, or Callista, I guess is her name. I don't particularly like this card either, um, but uh, yeah, it's a card. Ah. I guess I'll just set these over here. And I'll try to open that. This is the problem with having a webcam on my laptop trying to record. But uh, yeah, so I'll just try and keep rolling through these. Like I guess I don't want the video to run super long. And uh, I'll go ahead and do a recap at the end. I'll post the annotation at the beginning if you just want to see the recap. Uh, so this pack we have a rare uh, Wheel Assault. This is a really good card, really good rare. I normally like to go over the effects of cards in the set, but I have, I think, four boxes to open. So uh, I think I'm going to go through it all and then just, uh, you know, maybe do a recap at the end. <clears throat> uh, this one, we have a uh, double R, Lord of the Seven Seas Night Mist. That's a good one. Um, I may or may not run that card. It's the Grand Blue Break Ride. Um, so it's kind of cool. Uh, we got a rare, uh, Stealth Beast Tamahagane. A rare, uh, Ernest Starvader Selenium. This is the, uh, one that was reprinted as a foil before, 
so that's kind of a bad one actually. <laughs> um, too bad. Oh well. Uh, this pack we have a rare Stealth Fiends Diderajo. Dadara Hoshi, that's why you say that. Dadara Hoshi, so. He's that um, standard power breaker for the uh, Merc, not Merc, no, Nubusama. He's a 15k limit breaker on Vanguard Circle, and uh, he's a 12k attacker on Rear Guard Circle, so. Yeah. Not that card. Uh, another Bubble Edge Jacko Kid. I actually really like Bubble Edge Jacko Kid. It's a really good starter. If, it, if you, uh,. You can put him in your soul to give your vanguard the ability to let you draw a card if it's fourth and more like that. So, uh, in this pack we have a energy charger, another rare. Let you soul blast two to draw a card for Nova Grapplers. It's actually pretty decent. Uh, in this pack we have another double R. Uh, school Punisher Leopold Reverse. Um, so that's pretty good. Um, I was kind of sad that he was only like a four or five dollar card on release. Um, so that's probably what he's worth. Um, if you're willing to pay more, then I appreciate it um, because I need the money. But uh, he's probably for sale or trade. Uh, this pack we have a rare Rotten Sea Necromancer Barbaros. Um, I really like this card. I'm gonna be built showing you guys the deck profile of this card um, at some point. Uh, but he's basically a reindeer version of Grand Blue. Um, reindeer for Bermudas. Um, so he lets you, when you draft check a grade 3, he lets you retire one of your grade 3 uh, Grand Blue Rear Guards and then call one from drop zone. So, yeah, I've got a special build for him. Uh, in this pack, we have a uh, SP. Um, <laughs> that's kind of a, an eye opener. Um, this is actually really cool looking. So we've got Dudley Beast DD uh, Ethics Buster Reverse SP. Um, and I'll try to zoom in on this a bit. Of course, zooming in just means I'm moving it closer to the camera so you can kind of see. Um, the cool thing I like about these new SP cards is, yeah, there we go, that's perfect. See, now you can see the glint to it. The cool thing I like about these new SP cards is, uh, I mean, they've always been textured, but the new SP ones, like from set, like, I think 10 or 11 onwards, have been, um, like, Hmm, how can I say this? Like the foil pattern on this, like the holographic foil, is like just like streaks, like parallel streaks. But the actual like texturing is like expanding out from the center. And uh, each SP card has a unique texturing, as you can see. Niobium's is like a parallel kind of thing, also. But his foil is different. So that's really cool. I'm really excited about that. Um, I don't play Nova Grapplers, um, but having an SP like this, like this is a really cool SP. I'm not gonna lie, it's really fucking cool. So. Uh, if you're interested in this, PM me, um, and I'll do a recap at the end to show everyone. Um, next pack, we have a rare uh, Abacus Bear for uh, Great Nature. There's another build for this guy that you can play. Um, I'm not going to show it because I don't play Great Nature, but he's a pretty interesting card um, for uh, Great Nature. We have a rare Tidal Assault. This is probably my, one of my favorite cards in the set. It's basically a grade 2 version of uh, Benedict for Aqua Force. So he helps you get your fourth and third and fourth attacks out a lot easier in an Aqua Force deck. So he's a really good boost to old and new Aqua Force decks alike. God, I'm still trying to get over this SP. Like, I didn't even realize this is SP. I thought I pulled it out. I thought it was a double R. And I'm like, but it's SP. It's really awesome. Uh, this rare is Dimensional Robo Go Cannon. Um, I don't like this card at all. Um, you can put him into Soul and then put it on the Dimensional Robo into Soul to give the Daiusha Vanguard you control uh, 10k power. Or not 10k power, plus one critical. So, yeah, you minus two to give your Vanguard a crit. Like, that's, there's not really any point to that. I don't know why he's a rare. He's only a 6k booster to boot, so. But, you know, Dimensional Robos. Uh, this is a good one. This is a rare, uh, Beast Deity Max Beat. Um, so he's one of the better, actually, he's actually a money card in this set as a rare, because you need to play four of them in the new Nova Grappler uh, Beast Deity deck. He helps you enable the, uh, final turn, eight stand, 
Well, I'm not eight stand, but eight attacks, five or six stands in one turn. Uh, we have a rare uh, Operator Celestial Armin. Um, this card's kind of gimmicky. Basically, um, you have another copy of him in your damage zone. He pumps up himself and a bunch of other units. So, like I said, really, really gimmicky. Um, and he's only a 10k base, so I don't think he's that good of a card, but that's just me. Uh, so we have our first Triple R, finally. Um, and it's Blue Wave Dragon, Tetra Drive Dragon. So one of the money cards, that's good. Um, Tetra Drive is really good uh, for Aqua Force. He's a restander, first of all, first and foremost. So that automatically makes him pretty good. And But the fact that he's just... I don't know, man. He's just a really good card. And people want him, so... Uh, this one's a rare. Uh, it's... Uh, Paradise Elk. This is one of those standard counterblast two when he hits and you draw a card. Um, it's actually good in Link Joker. Um, well, I guess it would be because um, they kind of like having that defense um, from drawing cards. Um, and if they have lock units, then you can boost him with like Niobium and get really powerful from that. But the problem is he's a counterblast two to draw one, and uh, you really don't usually have that much damage open to Link Joker. Uh, another rare, Space Leviathan, uh, Dogro Madra. Um, it's a power breaker for a Dimension Police. Not that good. He's not even a Dimensional Robo. <laughs> uh, just some of those blocky Beast cards you can play from Dimension Police. Uh, another double R, uh, Beast Deity Brainy Papio. Um, this guy is actually, I don't know if this guy is very good. I don't know how how, uh, how many uh, people need in their decks. Um, yeah, anyway, um, so basically what Papio does is um, that uh, when he, sorry, I'm just trying to line these up so I don't, so I have a space here. Um, when he, uh, when his attack hits a vanguard, you can counter boss one beast deity and stand it over after your guard. So he's definitely a staple in the beast deity deck. Um, but some people only run three of them, some people run four. So um, yeah, I don't know how expensive he is right now. Hopefully, it should be money. Another rare, another wheel assault. So I already went over. Uh, I think this is a really good card for a grade one. Got another double R Beast Deity Solar Falcon. So I've already pulled, I think, three of uh, Beast Deity double R's, which is good because I'm not trading them and they're also really expensive. Well, I, I am trading them and they're also really expensive, so that's really good. Um, and he's just another Nova Grapple Perfect Guard, so there's nothing really special about him. Uh, got another uh, triple rare here. Uh, original Saber Zero. So he's the break ride for Dimension Police. Um, when you break ride in, your Vanguard gains 10k, your opponent's Vanguard loses 5k. So um, kind of gimmicky, but he he does what Dimension Police does. He powers up your Vanguard and mines your opponent. So that's you know he's actually not that expensive. People are selling him for a dollar a piece, low value. The highest I've seen him go for is three or four. Not really. So kind of sad that I pulled that, but uh, you know we we live and learn. Another Operation Celestial Armin. Let me see how long this is running. Uh, okay, not too bad, actually. It's probably because I'm not going over every comment I'm pulling. Oh yeah, Washer Raccoon. This card's one of the best new cards for Great Nature right now. It basically lets you return any non-trigger from your deck to your uh, from your drop zone to your deck um, when he dies from a card effect. So. Really helpful in Great Nature. You can recycle perfect cards and do do a lot of uh, funky plays with him. Uh, another rare Dimensional Robo Dime Magnum. That's really good. Um, he's the new starter for Dimension Police. Basically, you can put him into your soul and give your Dimension Police Vanguard 4,000 power. It doesn't have to be Dimensional Robo, so it works well in D Robos. It works well in Enigma, so it's pretty good. I like it. Uh, I think this is our last. Double R? Uh, oops, damn it. Uh, okay, so this is uh, Sure Stealth Dragon Kabuki Congo. This guy is basically a Dragonic Wallkeeper on crack. Um, 
He has 11k base. You can counter blast one to give him 2,000 power at the end of the turn. And then his limit break skill lets you counter blast one um, when he attacks to bind all of your opponent's rear guards and give him 10,000 power. So, yeah, he's really good. Um, and he's basically mandatory for the Anubitama deck. So, yeah. Glad I pulled one of those because I'm thinking about building that deck. Uh, another rare dimensional robot die heart um, and then uh, this is our last pack for this box and then we got another rare uh, stealth beast to Mahagane again all right so um, recap uh, from our promo pack, we got, uh, eh. from our promo pack, we got, uh, what I'm calling SP, technically it's a promo, but it's, ten, but it's, uh, SP Rarity, um, SP Foil, uh, Furious Claw, Star Vader, and Niobium. Uh, we got, for Double R's, we got Lord of the Seven Seas, Night Mists, uh, Sure Self Dragon, Kabuki Congo. Beast Deity Solar Falcon, Beast Deity Brainy Papio, and School Punisher Leopold Reverse. And then for Triple R's, we got Original Saver Zero, Tetra Drive, and then we got an SP Ethics Buster, uh, Ethics Buster Reverse. So, oh uh, yeah, that's the recap. Um, if you're interested in commons or rares, PM me. If you're interested in any of the foils, uh, stuff that won't be portrayed. Um, from this box, every Make me an offer on anything, honestly. Everything in this box is up in the air. I didn't pull any dice shields. I didn't pull any reverse dice uses. I didn't pull any Kujikiris or or uh, any of the perfect guards. So literally, make me offers on anything that I pulled in this box because I'm not sure what I'm keeping yet. Um, I'm not sure what I'm trading yet. I'm not sure what I'm selling yet. So please be sure to PM me with the offers. Um, and uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching. Uh, box one. Thanks so much for watching box one. Uh, I'll have box two, boxes two, three, and four up pretty soon.